thereby there are three options while standing or sitting or lying down and uh, is given an analogy it's a body is like a vessel if the vessel is not flimsy if the vessel is flimsy not strong that water in the vessel which is regarded as mind mind becomes shaky if i can't sit in one position my i keep moving my legs my knee hurts my back hurts i keep moving even in one place i can't sit always moving forward and back or if i'm sitting always moving my legs there is no control that uh, it says that uh, mind becomes restless and uh, at the same time uh, my body is strong my and uh, but my breathing is not correct i rapid inhale exhale or jerk in the breathing again if there is a breeze over the vessel water is there there is a breeze over that one again ripple should be there your breathing got to be smooth so that there won't be any ripples on the water body got to be strong and breathing has to be normal so that mind becomes calm the main purpose of doing asana we are doing now most of the yoga schools they talk only on the asana part that uh, the spirit behind the asana that uh, it's like we are cooking many dishes what what we are cooking ultimately to eat that we forgot the purpose of cooking itself we kept on cooking that purpose is to enjoy relish that purpose of all asanas purpose of asana i can't sit in this position my knee hurts my back hurts i can't do meditation like uh, if i am trying to meditate while standing i can't sit i decided to stand and my body is moving i can't meditate while standing also so my i can't do meditate i can't do meditation standing up so i lie down and i go to sleep meditation happen, doesn't happen there also meditation to happen that one you got to sit in one position to sit in one position my knee hurts my back hurts asana that's the purpose of asana do various asanas so that prana shakti your nadis become clearer flow of energy becomes normal so that your knee won't be your problem it won't be a problem back won't be a problem neck won't be a problem so that you can sit in one position and you can contemplate on your ideal in your heart center and do the meditation that is the purpose of asana doing asana or pranayama pranayama purpose is not to just hold your nose and the purpose to regulate have control over the breath that jerk jerk in the breath got to be eliminated breathing becomes normal body it won't be bother for me to sit in one position for long time that is the purpose of asana and pranayama and uh, it's a bhagavad gita bhagavad gita 6th chapter it's called as dhyana yoga it's a how to do meditation it talks about that one that uh, i mentioned in the previous class it is worthwhile mentioning now also it talks about uh, samam kayashiro grivam dharayan achalam stiraha samprekshya nasika gramstvam disaschana avalokayan prashantatma vigata vihi brahmachari vrate sthitaha manassamyamya machitto yukta asita matparaha it's a, these two shlokas goes hand in hand samam kaya shiro grivam when sitting kaya means body kaya is a physical body samam kaya shira shira means head griva means neck sama sama means all three in one line i'm not leaning forward i'm not leaning on one side it's a, all three should be one line samam kaya shiro griva dharayan achalam stiram and without moving body is straight, straight still not to move this way or that way stira and samprekshya nasikagram and to begin with the practice that uh, you should not look here or there what others are doing not to look that have control over your eyes and to get the control over your, over your eyes look at the tip of your nostril and as if that uh, half closed and looking at the tip of the nostril and doing that one your ajna shakti ajna chakra awakens your uh, anahata chakra opens up and uh, and after that it says that 
prashantatma when sitting no if you are disturbed if you are restless if your mind is somewhere that not it's not the right time relax yourself while sitting that not to prashantatma vigata bihi without any fear that many anxiety many stress fear rid of those fear without fear brahmachari vrata brahmachari think of something noble something ideal that uh, something divine something great think of that one mana samyamya that bring your mind together matpara that it says mana samyamya machitta think of on me alone that uh, as the supreme supreme within think of me don't think of me indweller as something as like others like this one think of me as the ultimate ultimate goal the i am the ultimate within your heart think of me that uh, that's the meditation that many schools they say you, in meditation you should not think of anything it's you got to think of something noble something pure something auspicious something always pure something never get blemished that uh, all pure all perfect think of that one in your heart center and uh, supreme is not limited to only one name or one form supreme uh, many people they say it is uh, my religion it is my god and other religion say my god god has not given his copyright to any really anyone or any re- particular religion god is universal that uh, it is not that re- religion god or this religion god god is one that uh, he is not very poor he is not having only one form sorry i can't uh, i have another form you can't say that one god encompasses all names all forms whatever name you worship as the supreme within you whatever form you choose whatever ishta devata it goes to the supreme that is the that uh, synopsis given in bhagavad gita in sixth chapter we will uh, do this uh, practice bit 